This is the next day. We didn't really accomplish much because of the weather. But uh, we have a little break in the uh, rain, so uh, Mr. Navigation Nowhere himself will be uh, putting together... Well, why don't you explain what you're doing briefly? Uh, well, we... Uh... Towards the camera. What? Oh, sorry. I forgot we were talking. I was talking to a camera. Uh, we bought some black iron pipe, and uh, it's threaded. So we're going to be using these uh, galvanized connectors, and we're going to be making our support uh, for the deck. Or... Are we telling them that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for uh, this rooftop deck. So, breaking yeah. news, we're making a deck. I guess he spilled the beans. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, essentially, it's a similar design to what I did on my bus. Um, super sturdy. Uh, it's going to be welded to the suspension of the bus through the rib rails. So, uh, this guy right here will uh, have a sturdy deck for the years to come. Yeah, and uh, there is something very unique about this deck. And I don't think it has been done before. Yes. And uh, would you say that's a fair statement? I say it's a very fair statement, which is why so. I'm like kind of, I, I feel like I want to explain things to all you, <laughs> but then I'm also trying really hard not to give away these really fun ideas we have. Yeah, yeah don't blow uh, it. Uh, so this top secret thing will be a first. Uh, definitely have not seen this done anywhere before. So just like the previous bus had AstroTurf on the roof, uh, I believe I was the first one that bus. Uh, do you think that was the first bus to ever have Astro roof on the turf uh, uh, on the roof? Sure. I would say it's the first bus I've ever seen, or yeah. at least that was, that's been online. Yeah. You know, someone on the dark interwebs might have done it. True. But, uh, yeah, that's right. You know. Um, but there will be another first with this bus, and uh, you guys are just gonna have to wait and find out what that wait. is. Because it's gonna be a very very fun idea. Yeah. Really fun safety thing for anyone who wants to do this or is seeing what we're doing. Uh, make sure you get thick walled uh, piping because when you thread it, uh, if you have thin walled piping, the threading can rust away because it's really thin metal right there and it's a bad connection point. So if you're going to use threads and you're not just going to weld it, make sure you get some uh, thicker piping. I hope you can see that in the camera. Dang. So, oh, and by the way, Michael has videos uh, that are uploaded now. They're kind of uh, DIY. They're kind of... Uh Tiny house, school bus, all that kind of fun stuff. So make sure and check out his channel. Give me a uh, hit that button, subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get to work. We're running into a little issue. We're putting this thing together uh, beforehand to uh, get it ready for the uh, roof mount. We're gonna put in some uh, some anchors, I guess you would say, right, to keep it extra. Um, secure but over here we just can't get the threads in we bought pipe we had the pipes threaded and uh, those ones would barely go in these ones none of them are working so we're a little stuck we're now at a standstill with the pipes so we're gonna try and keep ourselves busy Mike's up on top of the roof he's gonna square this hole out and I can't really tell you why but I can tell you you're really gonna like it This is the lesson learned where uh, when uh, me and Jax tell people like, hey, building a bus is going to be a lot of fun. It's all about the attitude. This is the moment where you just go, hey, it's all good. We got another grinder. Let's just keep going. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, today is just one of those days where nothing wants to work. I'm sure you guys have those days as well. There's really, sometimes it's just out of your control. It's out of our control. There's nothing we can do about the pipes right now. There's nothing we can do about the grinder, but we do have a grinder. Most nope. important thing is just put a smile back on your face and keep on going. Yes? All right, back in action. We now have that button back up, and we now have this part, which is exposed. And uh, we're not really going to tell you what's going on in here, if something's get installed or we're doing something, but uh, we're now going to work on this. And actually, we're going to reinforce it, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to reinforce it. So Great. Jax is going to weld in some beams. Sick. And... Uh, yeah. All right, just so you guys can see what we're dealing with right here, this absolute horror, 
Right above Mike's head, there's about a million mosquitoes flying around, and I can't see if you can, you can see it or not because I'm on such a small viewfinder, but that is a terrifying sight. What, what happened? Well, the grinder blade snapped, went through my shirt, hit my arm and I think it hit some type of vessel. It looks gonna... like a ruptured blood vessel, so totally uh, we're gonna leave the camera here. We're not gonna do a Logan Paul or a Jake Paul, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll update you uh, when we get back from the hospital. Hey, this is why you wear proper clothing. That would have been way worse. All right, let's see your uh, your arm. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's uh... All right, we're, we're gonna be watching this uh, arm over the next uh, several videos. It's gonna turn every single color in the rainbow. But uh, basically, there was no laceration. It was just a blunt trauma to the arm. Yeah, we... What was it called in there? Uh, I forget what it's called. Hematoma. Hematoma, there we go. But apparently, a, uh, the, the, uh, the grinder blade hit the, hit the arm and apparently blew some blood vessels or something. So this is what it looks like when you have proper safety gear on. So... Make sure you have your proper safety gear, because if it wasn't, the doctor said that the blade would have severely cut my arm. So. And probably a few artery or yeah. veins. So. so so make sure... Three that layers of protection there. Yes. So this is this is three layers of... Uh, what is it? What do they call it up in uh, Canada that... Work outfits. The work, the, yeah. work, the work suit. Which Jump is like, suits. It's pretty pretty thick clothing. Yeah. And then... Uh, like thermal. a mechanic suit. Yeah, mechanic suit, and then a bunch of thermals and stuff, and... Uh, yeah, it yeah. still it still did a pretty good number on my arms. So yeah. uh, safety gear is very important. That's right. <laughs> Be safe. Also, uh, I can can report that the. Uh, well, actually, why don't you tell them how your trip to the Canadian uh, medical place was? It was it was actually very quick. I was amazed about how quick it was. How much? Uh, oh, how much did it cost? Uh, yeah. Fifty Canadian dollars for a U.S. citizen with no insurance. Boom! There you go. Well, at, uh, no Canadian insurance. Right. They don't even need American insurance. It was, there you go. Yeah, they, they treated me very well. All right. Uh, yeah. So, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.